Hi, welcome to my show. My name is Lou Pompili. The show is called. Cool. That's my sister over there, just in case you missed her. Uh, because the camera's on. I knew I should be someplace. <laughs> she would be somewhere else entirely. But the camera's on. She's got to get in there someplace. Anyway, we're going to do our first episode tonight, but let's do the three episodes because this is number 98. The trifecta. And she didn't check the thing. Yeah, and there's problem. technology and she's escaping. Yeah. Yay! Yay! She's friendly to us. Yeah, I, I thought so. I anyway, this is number 98. So we're going to do number 98. This is called. Uh, uh, Winnie Primavera, no, it's not. It's called Puntaresca, which means uh, Ooh. ladies of the night. That's what Puntaresca means. Oh, I don't now, mind Punta a couple of them visiting. You know, I don't mind a couple of them visiting. No, they, come, they can come and visit here, but first you want to eat before you do anything. Okay. I gotta get stuff out of the refrigerator. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I got owls because I need owls. Oh, okay. We got and owls. I need capers. Capers? And I need capers. And I need. Uh, uh, what are these? Any parsley? Brainstorm from the dog. Oh, parsley. Is this my parsley? Yes, my parsley. I need parsley. Hey. And I need hot peppers. Oh. And you cut them already, huh? Yeah, I just cut them to, to make it easier to cut them up. And I do this, 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 that, the other thing. And what else do I get? See, this is the process. This is the thought process that goes on. And in preparation. Wait. And, and tomatoes. Stuff. And tomatoes. Oh, we're going with Rienzi today. Hmm? We're going with Rienzi. Rienzi today, yes. I ran out of postosos. Oh. And these are very good. For the majority of the show, I think we did do pastosos. Everything with pastosos. Yeah, pastosos do it. Right? Which is fantastic. Oh, yeah, it was great, but when you're going to do sometimes you, you forget to buy them. That's right. You know, you're supposed to buy them, you don't buy them. Did you, need two, did you need two of them or just one? What's that? No one. One's just good. one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and what's this? Fresh basil. Ooh. Hmm. Wait, can you repeat that? First of all, Oh, I thought you said first of Earl. First of Earl, first, like Duke of Earl. The Duke of Earl, exactly. Big, uh, <laughs> years ago. I'm going to tell you that they call for a lot of garlic in oh. Punta Nesca. So oh. They call for six cloves of garlic. Six cloves. Six cloves of garlic, which is a lot of garlic for me. I'm using two cloves of garlic. Two. Because the garlic seems to be enough. Definitely. <clears throat> and that's still enough to keep the vampires away. How much of this do we have to put in, Darren? See if you can get. Uh, I'm gonna enough? say uh, no. More? Yeah. More? More. How much more? I'm gonna say third of a cup. Oh, it's wonderful. There you go. Wow. Oh, third of a cup looks good to me. Okay. Holy cow! I don't know how I picked that just out of nowhere. It's just wonderful the way your mind works. <laughs> <laughs> It's great to be appreciated for my mind. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Instead of my body. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to donate my body to science fiction. <laughs> so that's going to cook. i got to cut of the garlic, put the garlic in. And there's one thing I forgot, the thing that's really important to this that makes this really happen oh. is alij, or anchovies. Oh, or Uncle Chovy. Uncle Chovy's. Yeah, Uncle Chovy's are a little different, though. <laughs> Use them in other sauces. He usually has to leave the country, too. Yes. He's in trouble for something. So to cut this up. Can I just say, I love watching you smash and do the thing, because I've seen them sold separately, uh, skinned and everything, the garlic, I, I still think it's better this way, I always say. It's, it's different. They use them in restaurants a lot, although great restaurants don't use peeled garlic. That's true. Because the, the, the flavor of the garlic is different. Yeah. This is coming right out of the, out of the skin. It's got all of its flavor in it. So we're going to let this brown, and watch brown, I'll be right back on the Nice. Ooh. Okay. Now, all I like to do is put the oil from this. Oh, so you put the oil from... Yeah, there's olive oil in here. Anyway. Olive oil. I never... That's olive oil in the anchovies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then we're going to use... One. Oh. Two. Do you know Carrie has, for some reason, just loved these lately? She really has been ordering them a lot of salad and stuff like that. And it's funny, because I went through a phase where I would never go near these, and now I can't get enough of them. I don't know... Yeah, they taste good. They really are delicious. You got about seven of them on there. Eight. Eight. Eight, Eight anchovies. Wow. Yeah. You know what? There's ten in the can. Let's use this. Oh, ten in the can? No, I'm going to actually here. Oh. You know, you're not going to get it to eat it. Oh, I get to eat it. Yeah, this piece of bread. One piece of bread? Mmm. I'm saying that to your mother. That is really good. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. I am eating them. This is not an illusion. This is fantastic. Okay, just going to cut these up. Okay. Which is no big deal. And put them in pan with the garlic. Ooh. Oh. 
So these really hot, hot peppers? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out when we eat your stuff. You never know, right? You always could. Yeah, you never really know. And Cousin Joe always talks about the anniversary of the farmhouse. Oh, definitely. When we had hot peppers and bread, and it was so hot we had to have oil with it. As a matter of fact, I'm leaving the peppers in the top. If his face starts to turn the shade of red behind him, we know we're in trouble. It's pretty hot. Oh! Oh, it's hot. It's only this much. Worry about that much? Maybe a little more. Leaving that much, putting in that much. Wow. Okay, these are Kalamata olives, pitted Kalamata olives, Kalamata olives. They're all Kalamata olives? No, these are just the, the dark ones. Oh, just and the And they don't have pits in them, so they took the pits out. And I like to take these pitless olives and wait for this to cook. Oh, that's good. You cook them in there. Ah. And now what are the, what are the green ones? They're green olives. Just green olives. Oh, is that good? Yeah, hey, I like that. They're green. Now, some people put them in some people use them without the pits. It all depends on, you know. Oh, yeah. Nice. So you've added the papers in there to mix around. And the smell is amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And I see which you saw in some of the earliest episodes. And there is a difference in the taste of the mm -hmm. Are you putting the whole can in? I think just about. Almost the whole thing. But not quite. Mm. Can you smell that? Oh, yeah. It smells good. This will be done in 20 minutes. So you're cutting up the basil, and the basil's going right in here? Right in here. Like this. You just mix that in. That's the parsley you're washing right now. Yes, I am. Now, how much of that goes in? I'll show you. I'm going to cut some of this up because it's necessary. And a lot of people just use the leaves. I'm like the Italian lady on the uh, YouTube. She uses everything. Is that Giada? No, no, no. Either either. This, this is this Italian woman. I can't remember her name, but she's really no, it's not Lydia either. This is an Italian woman who cooks too, and she goes, "Hey, I use everything when I cook. My mother put them in, I put them in," and she's right. It's a flavor in And this is the time when you make the part the parsley cook with the sauce. You stir this in. Oh wow. So then you just heat up the water and... Then we heat up the water, we'll do that right now. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, there goes the linguine. Water boiling. And you don't break it up, you just let it... Oh, no, you don't break this up. No? We don't break it up when we make festival azul. Oh, that's that's the only time, huh? Yeah. Hey, that's a great lead back to our original episode. What's about the lead back? Pasta Vazul. Was that our original episode? That was our very How first episode. How many years ago was that? 2009, May, either 16th or 19th. You could check on YouTube to find out. Wow. Exactly. I got to check on YouTube to find out what I do. I can see my first and last at the same time. Yes. I can get a kick out of this. It's not good fun. You can go backward and forward in time at the same time. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Yes. Mm. So that is uh, still there, and then you're just going to add them both together, right? Yeah, if this cooks, I'm going to put them together and we'll be all done. But I'm going to take some of the water from the pot after I cook this bit and put it in here. Nice. Which we've learned in previous episodes. Yes. So I'm going to take a little bit of the gravy, the water from pasta. And then into the sauce. And that's it. Nice. Get this cooking nicely. Put the pasta in the pot. And we'll add this to this. And we get a reverse shot of this. Hey! Oh, boy. Is that going to be good? It's been a joy to watch it be made. I can't wait to eat it. No, it's beautiful. Ah, and the final verdict. The best puttanesca I have ever eaten. Most places over salt it. Too many chives. Or over garlic it, as Lou said earlier. Yeah. This, yeah, this is, is nice, isn't it? This is perfect. It's so delicious. So it's good. It's really good. And you should try it too. This is number 98. So give it a try for 98. And keep counting because we'll do 99. And then we'll finish with 100. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao. Buon appetito.